and welcome to the ambitious gardener of, of Maryland. I'm John, and of course, the star of the show, this is Abby. And so, uh, our cameraman is Noah, and uh, oh, 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 he's he's trying to give you a thumbs up there, guys. And so, what are we going to say first, Abby? Like and subscribe, right? All right. Now, many of you know that we are the church channel for Rockville Church of God. And so I hope you stick around and see some of our other videos. But uh, this is the video we're going to do today is uh, our lovely garden uh, superintendent, my lovely wife, Lisa Lowry, has uh, read that garlic will keep some of the deer away in our area. And so uh, we talked about putting them and where we would put them. And so we've come up with a couple of different places we're wanting to put them to keep the deer away. Right, Abby? So what you're looking at here is a Honeycrisp apple tree. And last year, Noah went with me to the far off reaches of Frederick, Maryland. And we went looking specifically for this tree. And so, uh, oh, Abby's, uh, Abby's got to make sure she looks good in the camera. All right. Does everything look good, Abby? All right. And that's our dog, Winter, back there. I hope you guys enjoy it. So uh, we want to make sure and protect this tree this year from the deer. Right, Abby? So we're going to try. We planted some pansies around the tree. And in between the pansies, we're going to plant some garlic. Now, uh, I'm planting a very specific kind of garlic. It's called, it's called spring garlic. Right, Abby? spring garlic come you plant it in the spring most of the time you plant garlic in the fall and it comes up in the spring and so yeah so we ordered it and so Abby wants to show you guys what we ordered we got three bulbs of it and so um, we do have a gala tree right here that we've had for probably how long do you think we've had that Noah Noah's saying three years maybe more and I went ahead and planted some there to see what the soil looked like underneath. You do need a little bit of free moving soil because the root grows through the soil, right, mm -hmm. Abby? All right, so I kind of experimented with a couple of different things and what I found is, is obviously we want the tree to get as much water as it possibly can. You okay? The tree, we want the tree to get as much water as we possibly can, but we also want to make sure that we get uh, some water to these of these here so what I've decided to do is we're gonna build we're gonna dig a hole we're gonna put the we're gonna put some fertilizer down in the bottom and all-purpose fertilizer comes in this bottle many of you know what brand this is I got it surprisingly at the Home Depot which by the way Home Depot if you'd like to send us money that would be fine oh send Abby the money and we just buy more flowers because we're ambitious, right? So also uh, a few things. You wanna make sure you have yourself a good pair of gloves. Now I buy the cheapest pair of gloves I can. Abby buys the blue gloves, right? Because blue gloves are the best kind of gloves. And I buy these ones with a little rubber on the side simply because if I rip them, I can throw them away. And as you can see, they're all ripped up, they're dirty. And because I use I use a lot of these and probably I'll buy five or six at a time and I'll throw them away as they kind of run out. But Abby likes the blue gloves. So once I dig the hole with my little shovel, uh, I'm going to put some fertilizer in there. I'm going to put the I'm going to break apart the bulb and I'll put it in there, too. And then I'll cover it with a general gardening soil. Abby's showing you our little shovels. Once again, nothing too expensive. I think the most expensive thing we might have in here is maybe this little hand rake we have. And then obviously a wheelbarrow. Uh, we do a lot of work here around the church. Uh, and so uh, we here at the church have a nice wheelbarrow. And so uh, if you got one of those, you can just put everything in it and then move it around. I move dirt in it, but mostly during gardening season, I use it to move stuff around in. So, here we go. Now, my garden obviously is on a hill. Everything in our backyard is a hill and it flows from kind of where Abby's at all the way down 
And so I know that water's gonna flow that way. And, so, and also the sun works like this. So I know that if I wanna get a lot of water, I can make an opening facing towards where the water comes. And if I need less water, I have a, the, the opening. You guys get it, you're smart. You're watching a video of gardening. You know, come on. So no dummies garden, right? So here we go. So we're gonna get in here. And now look, right here on top, I have this clay. And the reason I put this clay on here at the top here is because I didn't want this little plant to run away from me because we got so much water. So if you can see down here, that's a little bit more of an authentic good soil. So I just kind of get in here. I make sure I get out. So I'm gonna make sure I get it deep enough to where the little, the little uh, garlic can grow. And we use garlic in just about everything, not just warding away uh, vampires. Uh, but uh, so uh, I'm gonna shake a little bit of this in here. How's that look, Abs? Does it look good? All right. Now, some of you say, why did you plant pansies around the bottom of your tree? Well, two reasons. They attract early bees, and bees are the most important, they're the second most important gardener behind the actual human garden. They, they're the ones that pollinate everything. But uh, more importantly, we put the pansies there because they're pretty, right? Right. Uh, yeah, we all like pretty things, right? We want them, yeah. And they won't grow tall, that's right. They won't compete. The dirt, the, the root won't be super deep. So I put that in there, I put a little, put a little soil over top of it. So it's got the fertilizer down there, but it's not gonna burn the seed. Now, one of the things that I've, uh, I've never grown this before, but one of the things I heard somebody say is, you wanna make sure you keep the little skin on top of it. Right, Abs? We heard a guy, we heard two or three people say that. So we're gonna put that in there, put it right down there. And then, because the hole is not super deep, and I wanna make sure, once again, we wanna get make sure there's loose soil in it. I'm just gonna put some of this vegetable soil in here on top of it. I know that might seem a little expensive for some of us, but some of us don't have room for compost, a large compost pile. And so uh, I live here in the Rockville area. And so Abby and I, we do have a small compost area, but not enough for all that we need. And so we'll probably buy about four of these bags for our garden, uh, kind of supplement what's already there. So we're gonna do this here, and uh, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do five here between all the little pansies, and then uh, we're gonna do up in the front of the gar on the back side of the garden because um, we've noticed that's where the deer come into our garden. They don't really come in from the front of our garden, but they definitely do come in on the back side of our garden. So uh, Abby, did I forget anything? What do I forget? Like and subscribe. Uh, Share with your friends. Uh, Abby's going to put her gloves on. Noah's going to put his gloves on, and we're going to get after it. And we're going to plant all of these. Uh, I'm probably going to plant more garlic than I could possibly use. You know why I'm going to do that, Abby? Because we're the ambitious gardeners, uh, and we're going to have the greatest uh, garden in the uh, history of uh, humanity. Uh,